Okay, probably asking yourself, okay, how do I get this into that? And you do that, get all this data in here. This is the uh, data source that I did from, showed you from the last video. And in Google Docs you, Sheets, you can use a function called import HTML. That's what I'm using to bring in the data from Steemit's tags page. So if you notice that there's the function, the first thing is the is the web page that you want to do, which is this guy. Then you tell it what type of thing you're looking for, either a table or a list. In this case, it's a table. And which table it is, which is, in this case, there's only one table on there. So it's number one. So when I do that, this stuff goes in. So let's just, uh, let's refresh this. And it automatically pulls down the new, <laughs> it basically went there, grabbed all the data, basically goes from here. Basically it shows you these four columns. Now the rest of this stuff is stuff I do to make, to basically to get this off here, have it look like, and make it look like currency. So, the import HTML document, it, there's a document in Google Docs that discusses it at length. This is what, so that's, like I told you, this is the web page. Then there's a table, and like, if, and in here it says there's there's a table, the fourth table. Yeah, because if, if you hit a site that has multiple tables, you want to figure out which table you pull down. So, like I said, girl, query is either list, table, whether or not the website you're looking for has a list. Or a table in this in the case of this page we're looking for a table and the index which tells you which table it is like if there are multiple tables on the page check it will tell you which one so you're probably asking yourself okay how do I figure out which index this is found this little little thing from gecko board if you copy this stuff in here actually let's make sure to get the semicolon there copy it and let's say we go back to steam it and you want to get into developer tools i know it sounds kind of a little intimidating but all you have to do is right click on the site, select inspect, go to the console. I've done, I've run this a couple of times before. So paste that command, hit enter, and it will show you. And when you, when you mouse over number one, table number one, it actually highlights the table looking for. So. You, that's, that's why I put number one back in here. And that's how I got this. So I was going to, so that's basically how you set up a data source to pull items from a website. In this case, the Steam It Tags website. I grab the table and grab this. Uh, uh, gotta love Windows. So you've got this. So that's basically all I wanted to show you on this particular video. So you can do this for yourself. Uh, you can, of course, 
use their Google file, which I actually have shared uh, in my last in my last post, which was the walkthrough. You can uh, check. Uh, I'll try to put a link to that on the uh, in the article. Okay. Well, hope that helps.